Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for coming back here and I'm really excited about today's video. I'm going to be rating my top 10 favourite candles and running through them all with you guys. There's quite a mixed bunch in there but I know choosing a candle for someone either as a gift or for yourself can be quite tricky so I thought this would help and I could run through the different prices and kind of where I would put them in my home and why I've chosen them to go into the list. A quick note to add actually, candles are really sacred for me, so I'm always trying different things. I have a cupboard full of them, which I have shown on here before, so if you have any favourites that I haven't mentioned, please comment them down below now and I will definitely buy them and then show them on a vlog as well. So I would appreciate you letting me know yours so I can try some new ones. Also, another, another quick note, I'm gonna pop the links to all of the candles down below, so if you do wanna shop them or know where they're from or read a bit more about what's in them, just click the link below. Okay, so coming in at number 10 on the list is this candle by Penhaligons. This brand is beautiful. For anyone who hasn't heard of them, they sell perfumes, candles, I think diffusers and room sprays as well. Um, but this candle is just perfect. The fragrance is Majuro Leaf and it's got a really woody and smoky undertone to it. Probably would sit best, I'd say, in a dining room, living, or maybe a bedroom, somewhere that feels quite cosy and you wanna relax in. And the price of the candle is 60 pounds, so it's not a cheap candle, but it looks really nice. A really simple black glass jar with gold font on the front. Number nine is this really small candle, which is just 12 pounds 50. There you can see it a little bit closer. It's Fig and Amber Leaf and it's from Hutton Home, which is a really, really <coughs> lovely homeware business that sells accessories, furniture for the whole house. This candle has a really, really sweet scent, which I would say would suit a bedroom or bathroom best. I've used one of these before and I really loved it, so I bought another and yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's made with 100% natural wax and it's poured in England, which is always nice to know that they're made locally. Next on the list at number eight is this big one from Rituals. Let me just take it out of the box. Okay, so the first thing to comment on is the packaging, which I absolutely love. I love how this would just sit perfectly on a side table in a kind of neutral scheme or something more colourful. It's going to fit into any interior. I really love the gold wax press on the front. The fragrance of this one is goji berry, which is one of my favourite scents actually. It's something you don't see too often. Um, but yeah, whenever I see a candle in this kind of fragrance, I always get it. It's a three wick candle as well, which is one of my favourites. I always think they just burn nicer. They make a much stronger smell in the room, obviously, and just look a little bit more luxurious. <laughs> in terms of the price of this one, I don't think you can actually buy it on the normal website anymore, but you can buy the smaller single wick candle, which costs £35, so not too bad at all. And you can buy these ones at Bista Village, which I do kind of every time I go there, I buy a couple of big rituals candles and just pop them in the cupboard for whenever I'll need them. This smells so, so good. Number seven is this classic from Neom, which I've had a couple of times before, but I've only really gotten into it this summer. I think I had it once as, as a gift. I used it and then I've bought it again now and I really, really love this candle. So this is the Sicilian Lemon and Fresh Basil candle from Neom. This is the three wick version. It comes in a really nice box and then a really simple glass jar as well, just with a white label. This is a three wick. Again, that's kind of my favorite and my go-to. If I can afford it, I'll try and go for a three wick because I think it gives you a much better impression of the scent and it just is, yeah, much stronger in the room. <laughs> so this candle is called Feel Refreshed, which is something that Neon do with a lot of their candles. They name them kind of after different feelings or spaces in your home. It's obviously Sicilian lemon and fresh basil, so it has a really fresh sweetness to it. Kind of smells a bit like 
I don't know if anyone's ever had a basil lemonade or almost kind of like a Fanta lemon. And I know that doesn't sound that appealing as a candle, but this has a really, really nice smell and it works perfectly in a kitchen, I would say. So on a kitchen windowsill, on an island, by your oven, it would be really good at masking the scents of cooking. And this is completely over the top to say, but I think this would actually pair really well with a risotto or a seafood pasta and a glass of white wine for dinner. <laughs> The three wick neon candles are all 48 pounds, so a really good price for a candle of this size, and they have a really good burn time as well. Next candle, number six, is actually fairly similar to the one before. This is a diptyque candle, and the fragrance is lemongrass citronella. Um, so fairly similar in terms of, it's quite a fresh, sweet fragrance. But this one just takes the edge for me. I've only got the smaller one here, but this is a limited edition summer version. Um, this was done by an artist and I just really love how simple it looks. I love the branding of <laughs> Dittique. I think it's slightly upper end compared to Neon. Both are beautiful brands and both are very high end um, in the kind of scale of candles but this one for me just feels a bit more luxury. The cost of this one is £51 so it's obviously quite a step up from the neon one but the smell I would say feels slightly more like a perfume rather than a citronella candle that you might kind of put out to stop flies <laughs> but it's a really really lovely lemony scent that again would be perfect for a lunch or a really light dinner in a dining room or a kitchen or even a bathroom I think this would work really well so yeah really really love that one okay now down to the last five these are the kind of serious contenders that I would buy over and over again I am quite a candle repeaterer <laughs> so I would just find something I like and keep on buying it um, but I'm very lucky to be able to kind of try lots of different ones and review them on Instagram, YouTube, etc. Um, but these are my core five that I really recommend you give a go. So number five is this candle from Vinegar Hill. It's a small shop that we have in Bath. There's one in Bristol. I think there's one in Cheltenham. There might be others around the country. I'm not sure how big they are, but I will link the website down below. They sell other interior pieces, other candles, brands, lots of different things. This candle is Rhubarb and Peony, and it's one of my all-time favourites. <sighs> you know where something smells so good that you could just drink it? This is honestly amazing. So, first thing, it comes in a really nice little tin. It's obviously got a bluey colour to it, which I actually don't love because I always think a candle in a more neutral kind of packaging works best because you can just subtly pop it on any kind of side in any room, move it around the house as you're kind of spending an evening and it works. But I love that it's a tin jar. I really do love the style of packaging, but in a lot of spaces in my home, the packaging doesn't work but the scent is incredible and it's really affordable perfect for any room in the house probably best suited to a bedroom living area bathroom or kitchen so pretty much anywhere <laughs> and the main benefit of this one is the cost it's only 11.99 and it lasts for a really good time for the size as well so it doesn't actually say the burn time on the packaging, I've just had a look, but I think it's, do you know, I'm actually not gonna speculate because I don't wanna get it wrong, but I've bought this candle probably 10 times, maybe, in the last year or two. Um, I really like it, and if I'm in Bath and passing, I'll pop in, and they often have sales after Christmas, Easter, holidays and stuff. So sometimes they have 20 or 30% off, which is really good. Okay, number four on the list. 
just twist it the right way, <laughs> is this candle, which I was actually sent this by the London Candle Store, but I have purchased it before from Selfridges. But the London Candle Store basically curate luxury candles all in one place and they send them really quickly. They're always packaged really well and they're just a really nice business um, that I go to to buy luxury candles basically. <laughs> so this one is Mary the candle which is by a brand called Trudon and the packaging is beautiful, really simple black and gold but the actual candle casing itself is incredibly luxe. So it's got a really, really simple cream wax and then a black holder with the gold emblem on the front and then the bottom, don't know how well you'll be able to see if you can see that at all, but it's kind of got the, the branding. I think is that the branding, I can't see it. In the bottom, which I think is really nice and a really nice added touch, like even the bottom has that. This is one of those candles that I would use, finish and keep the vessel to store like cotton buds or toothpicks, I don't know, anything. I would keep something in this because I think it's really cute, even as a bookend on a bookcase, something to go on your desk as a pen pot, I just think it's really nice. The smell is incredible. I think. When you talk about how a luxury candle should smell, this candle is it. Like, hands down a million percent. Let me find out exactly what's in this one. Okay, so I've just looked online and the scents are cedar and gayak. I don't know that, but whatever it is, they are doing it right. So, having had one of these before, I can tell you what I really love about them. So other than the really rich, strong smell, and I think just them feeling really luxurious, the way the wax is made is very special. So when you burn the candle, you know a lot of the times you kind of get wax left on the side or in the jar. The way that Trudon make their candles is the wax burns perfectly and it doesn't leave any kind of residue on the sides, which means you can obviously reuse the vessel really easily, and it means that it always burns kind of at an even level. The price of this candle is more expensive than the other ones for the size, but it has a very, very good burn time and has been designed to be very luxurious. So you wouldn't just use this every day. This is more something I would light if me and Mikey were having a nice dinner, and I would kind of keep it on the sides for best. A candle for best. <laughs> Not sure if I said the price, but it's £90. Okay, for number three is an ultimate classic that I know you will have heard of and probably used and loved and probably have one in your house right now, which if you do, light it this evening and enjoy it and relax. Number three is Seychelles by The White Company. This candle will forever be one of my favourites. I think it has such a timeless, sweet, but elegant scent, perfect for an entrance hall. It feels light, inviting. It's just the perfect comforting candle. I think especially for summer, spring, early autumn, it works perfectly. I usually have one or two of these dotted around the house at all times. I love them, I always get compliments on how they smell, I have the room spray, I have loads of different things, but for me the three wick candle, the one I'm holding here, which I've actually had for about six months in the cupboard, <laughs> just trying to work through some others, for me this three wick candle is such good value, it burns really well and I'll always love it. The cost of this is £65, you can normally get a bit of a deal at the White Company, they're sometimes 10 or 20% off. Um, which I normally use and then kind of do a bulk buy and I'll let you know when the next is one of those I'll share it on Instagram so that you can see if you're not following me there it's at Toby's home but you just can't go wrong with this one it's perfect let me know in the comments if you've had it before and what you rate it out of 10 right getting down to the final two and this is a complete staple in our house now 
Again, I've repeat bought this multiple times and I would recommend that everyone tries this candle because I absolutely love it and I think it's the perfect smell for when you've finished your cleaning for the week, you've got a nice fresh house and you just want to sit back and relax and have a drink or have something nice to eat. Number two is Orange and Bergamot by Molten Brown. This candle comes in a few different sizes and I've actually got two sizes at home right now and I've got a diffuser in the same fragrance. I've also got the lids from Molten Brown which I really like doing. I've got lots of white company ones as well. This smells incredible. I could honestly smell that all day. This has a real sense of luxury but probably feels more relaxing and more like something that you could use every day whilst you're having a bath or you're unwinding. The packaging is beautiful, it's a really subtle amber glass so it's got a really warm reddish hue to it. It's got the gold font at the top and then at the bottom as well, it's kind of, yeah it's champagne coloured I'd say. The price of this three wick candle is £85, I'll link the single wick one down below as well if you kind of want to give it a go and you don't want to invest in the bigger one but this candle has a smell that can fill a whole room, which I really love. We use Molten Brown products in our bathroom as well, so we have the body wash and body lotion, and I just really love kind of having that consistent smell throughout the house, and I would say this is the, probably the scent that our house smells the most like, and probably will for the next year or two until I kind of find something else that I love as much, but I can't see that happening anytime soon. Okay. Number one for me is an all-round classic, staple, beautiful candle that I personally love and am completely obsessed with. If you think you know what it is, please comment down below now with your guess. Just go for it. Let me know if you actually did do it before I wrote it. I've mentioned this on Instagram before, so I know if you're listening. <laughs> this candle is Wild Mint Peppermint and White Tea. It's a, I don't even know if you'll be able to see there, but the text of the candle is inscribed into this matte ceramic. It's from the White Company, the logo's on top. I've used it before, so it's a bit dirty. Oh, actually, this is a new one, so I haven't used it before, but it's clearly gotten dirty in my cupboard. But this candle is, without a doubt, my favourite candle ever, and I haven't found anything that's topped it. I would generally only use this in the kitchen, which maybe is why it's my favourite, because that's my favourite place to spend time. I'm always sat here, working, cooking, doing anything. I'm sat in the kitchen. So I have this lit all the time and I just on rotation will buy it. So probably once every month or two I buy another one of these. I also use the hand wash, hand lotion and diffuser in this room. So they're all here and the room spray as well is just in the middle of our kitchen peninsula. So yeah, it's 100% my favourite. It's got a really, really lovely sweetness to it but it also feels very natural and like it's full of things that you could have grown in the garden so yeah the white company doing very well with that one and also Seychelles as well both making the top three I think yeah top three right so those are my top 10 favorite candles if you haven't already please do comment your favorite candle down below so that i can give it a go and if you enjoyed this video kind of going through a rating let me know and i'll kind of do another one for autumn and throughout different times of the year with different products i really hope you enjoy guys and looking forward to seeing you soon